Okay, so here we have an Acer ES1-571 laptop with a broken screen. So very quickly, we're gonna go through um, and show you how to replace damaged screen on this model. As you can see there, the, pre the screen's pretty badly smashed and needs replacing. First thing to do is power the machine off, make sure there's no power going to it at all. Next thing, need a bit of a nail for this one, is just to get your nail behind the bezel. Gently find a gap and then slowly work your way around and doing the clips around the bezel. Take your time with this, they do break easily um, and once you've broken them it's pretty difficult then to um, reattach the bezel once you've finished replacing the screen. Uh, to get the bezel off once it's all undone push the screen right back and then it just lifts out. With the bezel out there are four screws that need replacing that uh, sorry removing um, in the four corners of the screen so we'll take those out And then with those four screws out, just take the screen out and lay it flat on the keyboard. Now with the screen laid down on the machine, the next thing to do is to remove the screen cable which is here, um, laid at the bottom of the screen. Now to do that, there's tape around it that you need to lift up and peel back. And then with that tape removed, it's literally just a case of pulling the connector out of the bottom of the screen. With the cable out, the screen's free. And then we're just replacing the steps to put the new screen back in. So the, the new screen comes with a protective film over it. We're going to fit the screen um, and then remove the protective cover once we've tested before replacing the bezel. So we're just going to lay the <coughs> screen back down over the keyboard um, and then <coughs> push the cable. Got to be really gentle with this and make sure it's lined up correctly. Um, the connector on the back of the screen is easy to break and also the connector um, on the cable is quite easy to break. It can be sometimes quite awkward to get in, that's sat in right now. Push the tape back down. Sometimes the tape doesn't stick back down perfectly. So just to stop it coming loose in the future, just take a little piece of masking tape, just lay it over the top. Give it that little bit extra protection, coming loose, lift the screen up, <coughs> place it back in place, put a screw in to hold it just to stop it flopping out, switch it on make sure the screen looks right, there we go, one replace screen so then it's the other three screws back in.
and four. Peel the protective cover off. And then finally it's just a case of replacing the bezel, sit it right back, lined up correctly. I always start at the top corners and again just work your way down gently. The screens are very fragile so you don't want to put too much pressure on the edges of the screen as you're pushing them down and then just work your way back and front just making sure that you've clipped all the bezel in to place last thing to do is just close it and then you can look along the back edge just to make sure that everything's clipped in correctly And there we go, one screen replacement finished. Um, all in all, it takes about 15 minutes to do. Um, only a few screws, screws, be careful of the screen cable, that's the most important part. Um, and take your time with the bezel. Um, you'll find a number of other repair videos on our YouTube channel. Um, and you can find that by visiting our website, which is www.northwestpcdoctors.com dot co dot uk thanks for watching